Beast Dog here, and welcome back to another Ushi unboxing. That's right, guys. So today we are unboxing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles seven pack Ushis. That's right, guys. So these are the six that we'll be unboxing. I have unboxed seven packs of Ushis before, and it was the WWE one, guys. Definitely check it out if you haven't already, and definitely go and check out all the other Ushis that are on the channel that are blowing up at the moment. Like, guys, this is insane. These Ushi videos have become so popular on my channel that you are all wanting so much more, and I am enjoying doing it because it's just awesome. Like, these, they're pencil toppers, but they just look insane. Like, they're just awesome. Like, I have all the WWE ones on my shelf, just on display that I have. So guys, definitely check out the recent ones. The links will be in the description down below. But as you can see, these are the six we at up close and personal in this video. So definitely hit that like button, guys, if you are enjoying the Ushis. And of course, we are on the hunt in the seven pack for that hidden golden shredder. Oh yeah, can I get him? There are four of these packs that I have to actually unbox, which is awesome because I have kind of calculated it all up. If you get four of the sevens and four of the fours, I believe, you can normally get all of the commons and rares and it's just the hunt for that limited edition. So we are on the hunt for this limited edition golden shredder. So I'm going to spin it around. We're going to look at the checklist and see what we already have. First unboxing of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ushis is in the description down below guys. It was a blind bag, we unboxed seven, we got awesome pulls. So definitely go and check it out guys if you like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Guys, if you also want to check out other stuff that is Ushi related, we have DC, Marvel, and WWE Ushis all on the channel. Check them out guys. They're all really, really awesome. As well as NRL traders, they're going pretty damn good as well. But let's spin it around. So this is what we have. As you can see, I have Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, all from the commons of the um, blind bags, which we pulled in the last episode, so that's pretty cool. And then, we have down here, we have April O'Neil and a foot soldier, so we got five out of seven. So that was alright, we only got two duplicates, which was a Leonardo and a Michelangelo, I believe. So, as you should know... They have a key, which is pretty much saying, you know, blue is the blind bags, red is the four packs, and black is the seven packs. So the three limited editions that we are on the hunt for in the blind bags is the Night Shadow Leonardo. In the four pack is the Furry Dog Pound. I'm really curious to find out if he is actually furry or it's just like a little bit of a flockness to him. And then, of course, in the seven packs, which we are unboxing right here, right now, is the Golden Shredder. I would love to get the Golden Shredder, but really, the, the one I would like the most is the Night Shadow Leo, because Shadow is my favourite out of all the Ninja Turtles. Um, let me know in the comments below, who do you like, guys? Do you like Mikey, Donnie, Leo, or Raffi? So, who do you like, guys? Which, which one of the four actual Ninja Turtles is your favourite? So, we can actually pull a lot. Like, we've got, like, the um, black and white like versions of the Ninja Turtles, I guess, down here. And as you can see, we have a black and white one right there, so that's pretty cool. You'd think that it'd be like a hologram one, but it's not. It's just black and white, because we have glow-in-the-darks up here in the four packs. So, guys, let's get right into it. We're going to go and unbox this. If you are enjoying these Ushi unboxings and traders and other stuff like the subscription crates and gameplays, I'm going to start doing more gameplays on the channel as well. Maybe like one gameplay a day or something like that. I've got to get these Ushis out more, plus you look really enjoy these Ushis a lot more, so I want to get the Ushis up, out more often so you can actually watch that a bit more, guys. We have a lot more coming. I've ordered some online that are coming in the mail, which is like the WWE 4 packs and Season 2 or Series 2 of the DC uh, blind bags and the Marvel blind bags, so expect them on the channel very soon, guys, as well as more 7 packs of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 packs and, you know, a whole bunch of DC and Marvel. Four packs, seven packs, and blind bags. Okay, guys, so now we're going to look at them up close and personal. Also, a quick question, guys. What would you like to see the Ushi makers make? Like, what would you like to see them actually bring out next? Would you like to see them do... Like, I know someone said uh, Call of Duty in the comments below in one of the other ones. That would be pretty cool, like, especially, like, zombies. But in my opinion, I'd like to see Game of Thrones and the Walking Dead Ushis. I would collect them like the WWE ones like there is no tomorrow, guys. 
Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. You would like to see them bring out as an Ushi because it would be pretty cool, guys, if we could all like talk about it and geek out in the comments below of what you reckon would be awesome as an Ushi. Like maybe, you know, people that play Overwatch would like Overwatch Ushis. Who knows? <laughs> but guys, here we go. We are going to start out with our first one. It is the Titanium Fish Face. That's right, guys. Never heard of this dude before. But I am like an OG Ninja Turtles guy. I used to watch it back in the day. But I haven't seen it in a long time. But I, I don't remember this guy that much. But he's got something right there on his face. But it looks pretty creepy. Like, damn, look at him. He's got like that top type of, you know, mohawky looking thing. He's got like a jetpack on the back. Jesus, Louises. And I can see the titanium there. He's like got titanium legs. Like, oh, he's, that's right, because he's a fish dude. I just seen the tail. So he's... That's why he's called Fish Face. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. You can get him in the um, normals, I believe. Of the, You can get him in the rares of the four packs, so I don't really get it. I guess the fact is, is that this one's a lot more shinier, maybe. This could be the normal Fish Face. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you know. Um, I'm not too sure, because there's two, guys. Look, see? There's two. There's a Fish Face, and then there's Titanium Fish Face, but he's in the sevens. But I've gotten Ushis that are from like the blind bags in the seven packs before. So I'm just going to assume that this is Titanium Fish Face. Because why would he be a four pack? Like why would he be from the four pack in here? But here we go. Titanium Fish Face. Let's have a look at him. There's underneath. On top. He really does look like a, a bit of a toad fish. I think mean, he's got his arms as well. So it makes a little bit of sense. But there we have Titanium Fish Face. I'm just going to go with the Titanium one, guys. If you, if any of you know exactly what his name is, if he is either Fish Face or the Titanium Fish Face, let me know in the comments below, guys. But now we have one from the comments. We have Snakeweed. Another one I'm not really too sure about, so I'm guessing he's like a weed type of monster. And I don't know, he looks a little bit snaky. Like, he's, maybe not. He looks a little bit more crabby and plantish. So is he? His name is Snakeweed, so he's from the commons, so there is Snakeweed, let's look at the top, he's got his little antennas. He looks pretty cool though, I've got to admit it, like, Fish Face looks pretty weird, but this guy looks pretty damn weird as well. Some weird characters in this thing, but it actually looks pretty cool. I do admit, these characters do look awesome. I do like the Ushis, like, even though they're just pencil toppers, they're just pretty cool, like, you know, you, you know, they're just pretty cool. But guys, here we go. We have our first ever black and white. Now, this one is Donatello. Because you can tell because he's got the staff. So, that's the only way you're going to tell which one's which with the glow in the darks and the black and whites. It's because of, you know, their weapons. Because they all look pretty similar with their masks and stuff. I guess you could maybe try and see the grooves and, and stuff like that to know. But it looks pretty awesome. It's like a see-through black and white turtle. How cool is this? Like, this compared to a normal turtle looks pretty cool. Like, look at that. Look at those. But there we have Donatello. Swam with that big ass stick right there. Oh, yeah. I, I, I really do enjoy the look of these, like, black and white turtles. Like, kind of almost see through ish. Okay, so the next one, guys, we have is Dog Pound. That's right. I do remember Dog Pound in a way. Um, he is in the commons of the seven packs, so that's pretty cool. You know, of course, no duplicates yet. Why would you get any duplicates when, you know, you can only see which six are there? So, of course, I'm not going to grab, like, I think I grabbed two seven packs. I need to grab a couple more on, like, my next payday. But I got two seven packs, and I got to get the other two so I can get the whole sets. But here we have that awesome looking spiky back with the tail. It looks pretty cool. And he's got his spikes protruding from his arms. It's like, dude, do you even lift, bro? So I'm interested to know about that furry one that you can get in the four packs. That is really, really intriguing me really, really intensely. But how cool does this look, guys? This just looks like a huge werewolf. Hey, guys, the next one, it is the battle-damaged Raphael. Pretty damn cool, guys. He's got all those cuts and bruises and scars. Like, he's got the old-fashioned, like, line with the two lines on croup right through it. And then, you know, one on his shell. Does anyone on the back? No, none on the back. It's all on the front, on his toes, and his, on his front of his chest, and then on his face. Not really on his arms. I would assume that he would have some damage on his arms, but it's only three different parts. So, someone tried to cut him here, there, there, and there. Yeah. T -t -t Not in the face, dude. That's my money maker. <laughs> but here we go. Back. I really do enjoy, like, the, the eye masks that they wear. Like, 
the blue one, like I said, Leo, he's my favourite. Who's your favourite, guys? Like I said. But this looks pretty cool. It looks like he went to war, and that's why it's called Battle Damaged. But he looks like he did go into an epic battle, which he probably did win. Guys, now the sixth one in the set, we have the Dimension X Leonardo. How cool does this look, guys? A Spaceman Leonardo. Oh my god. Like, and it's got the blue right up here too. Like, how awesome is that? Like, I am an alien. I am coming to get you. <laughs> but yeah, he's got his, like, um, mad little suit. Like, his, um, what do you call it? Astronaut, like, gear. Like, the astronaut suit on. It looks pretty cool. I do like the look of this one. Like, the, the original Leonardo looks pretty cool. Now, this one looks... Oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. I thought these were antennas, and then I just saw the, the, the hilt right there. That's his swords. Ah. Dude, why are they right up near your ears? Like, he's got no weapons on the back. I was, like, wondering where his weapon was for a second there, and then he's holding them up there, and then someone's painted over it white, whereas it should be grey, but maybe he hides them up there, and... Or maybe not. Maybe they're meant to be white, and then that, that blue is, like, a little bit of, like, a laser cutter. Sha! Wah, wah. Come on, aliens, I'll take you on. Not me, man. I am just a snakeweed. No. No, sir, you are not. But these are pretty cool. Like, I don't think... Is there any other ones? No, I think he's the actually only one that is the Dimension X one. So that's pretty cool. We got the Dimension X Leo. That's awesome. Now, guys, here is the time. It is the cream of the crop. It is the mystery. Will we pull that golden threader? I really hope we do. This is the first ever seven pack on the channel for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ooshes. Here we go, let's rip it. Crush your fingers, crush your toes, and don't forget to crush your nose, guys. My light's dying, so we need your luck right here. I need to charge my light right now, but hopefully we can get it, you know, get this video done with some light still. But here we go. Who's gonna be, oh, I see. I think I see, yeah, I see, um, what do you call it? I see green. So that's not a good sign, considering we're after a gold colour, so hopefully it's not a dupe. Here we go. Guys, it looks like we just got the normal Michelangelo. Unfortunately, I already have this one. I got him in the first one, which was in the blind bags. Like I said, it seems to be that some of the seven ones, you get the blind bag mysteries in there, like in the seven packs. Like I've, I've, I've gotten WWE ones where in my seven pack, like in the six, I've had a rock, and he's in the commons of the blind bag. So... You know, this one's in the commons of the, you know, this, so Mikey is in the commons of the blind bags. Unfortunately, I already have him, so it's alright, like, maybe he's in better condition than the one I have, but, you know, we got his mad nunchucks right there. If you haven't seen him already, guys, here we go. You should have if you've watched the first one, but looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get that shredder. But guys, we still have another free attempts to get that shredder. So guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this unboxing of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hooshies. Seven pack is the first of four. So guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button hard, guys. But not too hard. Don't break your computers. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description down below. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the dog squad. Tick the little bell, guys, so you can be notified every time I upload a new video to the channel. And not only will you become a part of the Dog Squad, but you'll be a part of the Notification Dog Squad. And guys, definitely spread the word of the J-Stock to everybody you know. Definitely check out the recent Ushi unboxings. I believe the recent ones was the DC and Marvel blind bag ones. Their first ever blind bag ones on the channel. So definitely check them out. Also, the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle blind bag will be in the description down below, guys. As well as probably the WWE one as well. And the traders. So definitely check them all out, guys. Spread the word of the J-Stock to everybody you know. Hit that like button, guys. Let me know what's your favorite Ninja Turtle. What was your favorite one that I put in this unboxing right here, guys. But as always, guys, stay awesome. The J-Stock is out of here. See ya. Yeah.